Club. My name's John. And looking forward to spending the next uh, nine holes or so with you. We got the back nine on tap today of this one. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. A warm welcome uh, for all of you who are working from home. Or, as you know, we are isolated, we're all isolated at the moment. So I hope you're all doing well. What I'm doing here is playing my latest course, the Delta Tour, MP Delta Tour, playing the back nine, so this is hole ten. It's uh, a part five. This is the one with the waterfall in the back, as you can see here. For those of you who've played several of my courses, you'll recognise that this is from my previous course entitled NP Five Lakes. Uh, you can see I've made some slight changes here. I've changed the waterfall as, as well. I also slight... I don't think on this particular one I changed the actual fairway. I just changed the, the waterfall in the background for this one. I left this one pretty much on its as it was part of course from the changes with the bushes and the and the planting as I changed this from Alpine to Delta. Okay. <coughs> so a fourteen mile an hour wind, westerly winds not too bad. Give this a bit of a draw. See what happens. This could be in the rough. It's going to be in the rough. I did not give that enough. Sorry, I didn't give that enough um, draw. So I don't end up in the out of bounds area, I'll be happy. That's not too bad. Back in the saddle here. Saddle being fairway. Nice stuff. I'm only playing the back nines. Uh, if you need to check out the rest of the course, you'll have to play this yourself. Okay. I'm not sure what this 13 mile an hour wind's going to do, so I may have to club up. See where this ends up. Well, it looks <coughs> like you got some work cut out for you in this next one. There's too much club. I thought that that 30 mile an hour wind was going to help us back, but obviously it didn't. That I didn't want to do. For some reason, my controller just took over. I'll try that again. Still too powerful. I always find the sand. Well, at least shots. you're on the green. That is always good. Nine footer here. Let's see what we can always do. Find the sand shots really difficult. It's just judging, gauging, how powerful. Solid putt. We're in the hole. How powerful you back swing. Starting is. off at one over par. Okay, par five here. If you look on this one, um, this originally just had on a split fairway, uh, it was a much wider split fairway that we had, or I had, uh, but I changed it and I put that uh, waste bunker in the way. I also had to move a tree out of the way from here. Okay, I should just be able to hit this hard. I'm liking it. OK, 
Okay, we got about uh, 245 to go here to the pin. I wasn't really too happy about the elevation on this one because I wanted to be able to see the green from where you landed here, but that ridge, which says 43 yards, it's eight feet high is the problem. I should have really dialed that down a bit. I'm not sure if this eight mile an hour wind's going to do anything. Let's just give this a go. That's perfect, perfect. If I make it over this ridge, yep, that should go down. Speed up a bit. Putting for Eagle here on this one. Woo, good stuff. This is a relatively flat green, so if I play my cards right. Oh, um, that was close. That was far too hard. Okay, well. Was my chance for a needle, which I didn't get. Not to worry. That's all my par. Well done. And that'll keep you at one over for the round. Number 12. This is the 12th hole coming up. What I did was when I converted this from Alpine to Delta, uh, as many of you will know if you've ever done this yourself, if you're changing themes on an existing course, just be careful what the actual um, editor does with regards to the various parts that you get. Because I ended up here having to remove quite a lot of the so-called bushes, because the bushes they actually put in were slightly larger ones, and it obscured a lot of the uh, features and line of sights that you had. So I had to do a lot of removing, so prepared, be prepared to do that if you do anything like this in future. Now what I normally do, rather than go on this one, I tend to go onto this one, because that gives you a better view of the pin. Let's see what this takes me. Nice drive, just striping it. So depending on which fairway you, especially on these, on this one, depending on which fairway you want to land on, it's dependent really on uh, which pin you've selected. I think pin one and two are more favourable if you went onto the right hand fairway rather than the left one, and pins three to four if you go onto the left hand fairway. They're all, they're both pretty much reachable. I think this tree's going to get in the way. But I'll give it a go. Yep. And when I've play tested this particular hole before I ended up where I was, I have used the punch shot that has taken me onto the green. And again, that's far too much. From here, I think I'll putt. What? Yep. Great putt, and that is for par. All right, one over for the round. Don't be superstitious. Uh, it's just hole number 13. This is just a number. Let's see what you can do. If you notice here, these plants is not what I wanted to plant originally because this is with regards to transforming from Swiss to Delta. This is what um, the Delta theme perceives you put down as bushes. I think these if 
because I use different plants for this, this is what the Delta theme comes up with instead. So in some cases it's acceptable, it's okay, but in other areas I've had to remove this completely as it just didn't seem to be, uh, didn't seem to suit it where I planted it. So it's just another thing to be aware of when you do anything like this. of you wondering why I keep doing this it's just because on the um, Microsoft's recording or the Xbox recording facility of course I'm using a PC here um, which you can get to if you press the Windows key and G the actual icon or display that shows the bar how much time you've got left recording actually obscures the um, the user interface where it shows whether I'm using a driver or not. A lot of this is just guesswork, but I'm assuming this is a driver anyway. So let's go. Let's go here. Fast is not what I wanted. So far, so good for this one. But actually, that's not too bad. Let's just put me past these bushes. Again, these bushes that you see on the right hand side weren't really the ones I expected, but I just left them in the end. I thought it'd be more of a, a challenge for the player. So it obscures the actual tease. Forcing the player to go, obviously. Alright, here we go. This one they for can the on birdie. The side. Now, this is the annoying thing about this controller that I have. I know the the, the left um, toggle button I've broken slightly because I've been playing NBA 2015 and, it, and I tend to be quite um, forceful with it perfect perfect alrighty that's going to bring it down to even I didn't think I was going to make that one that's keep an good. eye on that wind could come into play on this hole Save going here because it will miss those trees. He says, <laughs> Okay, you're kind of in some deep stuff. This is the danger zone. As you can All see, there right, are and we are back in the here. fairway. Good to see. I've just noticed. There's a tree, there's a couple of trees actually in some of these seating stands, which I didn't really notice because when you play this with crowds in them, it's, I don't know, just another thing you need to watch out for. Like that, for example. Well, you're in the sand, so uh, let's just, uh, hey, let's just get out of there and, and move on with our feature. lives. And again, that's far too powerful. Little six footer here, nothing too scary. Well, solid bogey. That's a good putt. <clears throat> Actually, that's Sitting at one over for the round. Par four here. Let's have a nice clean drive. It's a nice looking shot. The wind should hold this up a bit, which it does. For those of you who don't know, I do play with the Master Club. I'd say it's about 120 yards or so to the pin from here. No fast stroke I did not want to do. I'm glad that gets me in the green. Nice. Okay, here's your putt for birdie.
Here we go. Four, par. Nice, nice putt there. <coughs> okay, so that'll keep you at one over for the round. Okay, so before I forget to do this, this is the distances. So you have a good look at that. This is a fairly short course. It's only 6,430 yards. If you play all 18 from the gold tee. And how many? One, two, three, four, five. I have six par threes in this one. And four par fives, mainly on the, the back the back nine. Or all on the back nine. Okay, let's move on. Hole sixteenth hole coming up. I like the way this is tracking. Even dialing back two clubs because of the wind, this is where it's taken me. Okay. Again, I'll use the putter. Mm. Get in there. Let's see if we can save par on this putt. And a decent little putt to end this one. One over for the round. I'll be happy to get an even. 17th hole coming up. Okay, 17th hole. It's a par five. Now this one, I did a bit of this. You can see. I'm trying to go for like a shoreline theme. I'm not too happy with this. I still need a lot of work to do here because eventually I want to make this kind of a feature rep in future courses that I do make. I forget who it was that did, uh, it was called the Waterway Course, uh, the Waterway Club, I think. Anyway, that's for a future project of mine that I have, or I want to do. So this should Take me, please. Thank you. Well, T shots looking good. Just don't go into the rocks because they are out of bounds and I have gone into out of bounds. Ooh. They ended Lanky. up in the rough, but I yeah, really thought you were going to end up in the fairway. Okay, looks like we are about 225 yards to the pin. I don't know if this is going to make it. Or not. <laughs> Alright, no worries. Let's reload. Try that again. That bounced off that rock. I'm going to have to play up on this one. Let me just dial this down. It wasn't super clean. Damn, this is stupid. Okay, the oh. ball's sitting up pretty good here in the this, rough. It's not how you're supposed to play this game. Let's try this again. I might have to club up.
Okay, let's see what you can do with his eight footer. Good putt, well done. Okay, Sitting at four over for the round. Originally that uh, 17th hole, the actual um, island bit that you see here was actually on two tiers. Okay, the 18th hole here. Let's clear our hole. heads. Got the clubhouse coming up after this. Just let it flow. Now this one I was particularly happy with. I of course changed the middle bit which is out of bounds and did a lot of planting around there. But as you can see from here on the 18th hole, I actually developed the clubhouse. That's the first hole. I can never do this properly. So, appreciate the Appreciate the walls I created. I also did here was driving range. So that goes over two hundred and fifty over there. There's also a putting green here. Anyway, this is reachable by a driver, and as we got the on our winds, we should be here. So, if you're favourable to the gods, nice. This one again, if you look at this, the actual fairway I had to redo so that it exposed more of the bunkers. All right, 12 footer here. And that's not how Ooh, to do a putt. Four feet to the hole, you can do this. Solid par. Well done. And it's looking like four over par for you at the end of the day. Well, thanks very much for the round today. I had a good time out there. Hope you did too. See you next time. Bye, John. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a little um, brief fly-through, basically, of my course. So there's the back, the back nine. Like I said, if you want to play the rest of this course, you'll have to... Um, if you haven't got this game, I highly recommend it. There's plenty of courses available for you. And also, uh, you have the opportunity to make your own. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. And your prime out.